Hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff back again. It is time for another of my Kiss Collection Vinyl Edition. This is going to be the second and final part of the Vinyl Edition. I did first part, which took us up through The Elder or through the Killers album, I guess, and then stopped there. Breaking this up so it's not too terribly long. So this will be the second half of my Vinyl Collection. All of the ones in the first section were just standard releases studio i didn't have it i don't think i had anything in there that was out of the ordinary it was just standard studio releases the majority of which were the 2014 reissues because i started buying vinyl again in 2017 and by that point i was trying to catch up and pick up a lot of those so there was nothing really there fancy to see there's probably a couple oddities in here nothing super major but let's get right into this we're picking up with the Eric Carr years, the rock edition. So basically we're starting with Creatures of the Night. This is the one that came out last year. The uh, And I picked this one up at that Walmart super sale, $15 when they, you know, a month or so after it came out, they had this. So this is the half speed remaster of Creatures of the Night. I did see a copy of this in a store about a, you know, a few months before the reissue was even, before I was aware the reissue was coming. A guy was selling an OG copy. It had like this ripped piece of, you know kind of cover was damaged here kind of white rip piece that was about it the album looked like it was in great condition but the guy wanted like 50 or 60 bucks for it. maybe it was like 60 dollars and i asked the lady downstairs i said do you think he'll take extra money she tried to call him but you know not extra money <laughs> take less money i was gonna offer him more like because i you were looking at him online and you could find the uh, some reissues and and other editions for you know forty dollars or so but anyway i never got a chance to do that and then this came out so i'm glad i waited and i got this but had i before i waited i ended up did buying one of these this is one of those unofficial brazil purple reissues with vinnie vincent on the cover so um yeah this is in my pile to move on to somebody else who might be more of a collector for that but i picked that up before i heard that there was a reissue coming so um, anyway, okay, lick it up. Of course, just a typical 2014 reissue, I'm pretty sure. Animalized. I believe most of these are. There, there may be a couple of these that are that are OGs. I don't know if I've... I took whatever I could get whenever I found them, but I'm pretty sure that over the years, I've found basically just the ones that have been reissued. I can tell by, obviously, the ones that have the sticker. Asylum. So, you know, more standard stuff here. All right, uh, Crazy Nights, the picture of this. Now, I bought this a decade or more ago. In 2009, I converted my back shed. It was a wood shed. It was made by made out of wood. It's not one of those. It's not one of those metal, you know, put together sheds. It was an actual shed that was the, the previous resident had built. So it, it had wood walls and everything. And so we converted that, rebuilt the inside. My neighbor and I. Um, and convert it to a band room. That's where my band used to practice. My drums are out there, equipment's out there. And I had all my CDs out there at that point. There's shelves on the wall. And I have a lot of my collectibles out there. I have the Kiss figures and, and, and Marvel cups and Marvel figures and all this stuff. So that was my band room. And at the time, I'm looking to decorate my band room with music stuff. I put posters up. I got all kinds of posters out there. And then I just started, I went on eBay and started buying things like picture discs. Didn't have a record player, didn't play them. And I bought this. So I still have this. It's it's in great condition. Um, yeah, it's in great condition. So I bought it, hung it on the wall, along with a couple other picture discs I've got in my collection. But then when I started buying vinyl again, I'm like, hey, pulled it back in. I don't play picture discs that much, but I did turn around and get an actual playable copy of the album. Again, the 2014 reissue to play on the album. So smashes thrashes and hits this is one i had a video not too many months ago i bought this on amazon somebody was selling it for under 30 dollars and usually this is way more expensive and you know it's uh very good to very good plus a little bit of pops and cracks here and there but i cleaned it up and it sounds a lot better but you know it's still and it's got only ever so slightly a slight warp that does not affect play but I thought, you know, these are extremely expensive, and I think it was only reissued in the box in that big crate set. So hard to come by, and when I found a copy, even in very good condition, I, I went ahead and pounced on that. So I'm glad to have that in my collection. 
All right, so this is one of the rarities. The Ritz on Fire has been reissued on multiple editions on vinyl. This is one that is out there, and I've seen this a couple times in stores, and I picked this up I don't know, two years ago or so, two or three years ago, and it wasn't too expensive. I've seen it nowadays. It's a way more expensive, but, you know, I think I got this for, like, $20, so I was kind of thrilled to have it. And, again, it's one of those unofficial releases that they did of live stuff. Uh, made in the Shade. Again, standard stuff. 2014. All right, this is the Kiss Revenge, the German edition. Got this, you know, 2014 reissue. Got this on Amazon for under $20, and I didn't care that it was a German. I didn't go out of my way to get it with the German logo. I mean, that's cool. I know some people collect both. I just bought it because it was priced right. This one I got not too terribly long ago. This one seemed like it was getting harder to find, and I don't know if they repressed it because all of a sudden it became more common. And I guess somebody had told me that some of these 2014s have been recently repressed, and maybe that's why um, I was able to find this one a little easier. So I haven't dug into that to find out if that's truly the way it is. Kiss Gods of Thunder. So this is another one. This is from um, uh, that company overseas that does a lot of live stuff. So this is a radio broadcast. This on blue. Um, and I think it's not, I'm not sure if it's the entire show, because I've seen other versions out there where they're like, the entire show, San Paolo, August 1994. But it was cool, and I forget where I picked this up, but it was fairly cheap. And so I went ahead and grabbed it again. You know, just a little fun collectible type stuff. Kiss Unplugged, this was a reissue too, and I remember getting this back when it was really expensive, and I found a copy for really cheap and i grabbed it it was at my local store it was like they were selling it for the regular price i'm like everywhere online is selling it for like 50 plus dollars and he had one in the 30s and this is a couple years ago so i grabbed it and dsc carnival of souls again this yeah this is just just over 2014 i believe reissue so this is that album of course if you know you know they recorded it never got released and then later came out one of their 90s kind of all grungy sounding stuff where they were trying to change sounds and eventually got released all right let's see i put these i put i don't know, how do you how do you do this when an album comes out that's like a live album so they release a live album and a lot of bands are doing this i mean my gosh the amount of deep purple live albums that are coming out all this arch archive stuff when you follow them away, do you follow them away in chronological order? If you follow them in chronological order, period. Do you put them in chronological order based on the release date or based on the recording date? That's So in my case, I do recording date. So Kiss Live at Donington 1996 would be in this era here. Rather than saying, hey, this came out last year, put it in most recent releases. So that's just me. Um, so yeah, this is Live at Donington 96. This is the original lineup during the reunion tour. And these are those, you know, inexpensively packaged off the soundboard series that they got coming out here there are two of those i don't have i'm still missing the uh most recent two the two most recent ones including with mark st john which i really want to get uh, anyway kiss psycho circus 2014 reissue nothing fancy there kiss alive 3 this is the one i'm sorry kiss alive 4 millennium edition this is the one that i recently bought for a regular price and i think somebody said yeah they just repressed some of those because this one was hard to find and all of a sudden it showed up for what i would consider a normal price on a site and i bought it and i'm like how this album is so hard to find but i guess they repressed some repressed some of the 2014s tokyo 2001 off the soundboard again stuck this in here because this is roughly the time frame uh, we have ace fairly but we've got eric singer at that point replacing peter Okay, that's the Millennium Edition. Kiss Alive 4, 2003. All right, this is Kiss Symphony, and no, it's not an official. It is one of the unofficial, unauthorized, on grayish vinyl silver. Um, yeah, you know, I got this for a good price, and yeah, until they either put it out again, where I can afford it, I'm just going to have to have the cheap knockoff. Um, Virginia Beach 2004 I was at this concert I actually this is one of the um, tours where they actually you could wait in line at the end and buy the show on CD you had to wait in this long line while they mass produce these CDs on the spot 
and I bought one of those, and I have this. So I've had this on CD since the show. I waited in that long line and bought one the night of. Now it is on vinyl here. So yes, I was at that show, 2004. I've seen them. They come here about every two years, and I think I've missed them once or twice. So I saw them in 2004. I know I saw them in 2008 and, and 2012 with my son, and I know 2019 with my daughter, and I mean with my wife, and somewhere in between that with a friend of mine, I forget what year. I've got the tour book. All right. Sonic Boom. Yes, the another one of those unofficial, unauthorized copies that came out. Again, you know, I'd love to have an OG. I'd love to have a whatever. A, a, just they're way too expensive for me at this point. Monster. Typical 180. Typical release. And then Kiss in Vegas. This is the... Uh, one, this is the last one I got of their releases. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything. So now I gotta go back and look. Am I missing anything from KISS? But there you go. That's my vinyl for KISS. I don't believe I have anything else hit around here. That is pretty much it. So I'm gonna stop this one here and I think next we'll move on into the CDs. Thanks for watching. Rock on and rock hard.